So I'm sure a lot of you guys know Daily Driven Exotics and Alex Choi and all those guys that do the crazy supercar stuff. They actually work with a shop in Marietta, California called Sheepy Race and right next to it there's an exotic dealership called West Coast Exotic Cars. Uh, today they're actually hosting like an open house which looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go check it out. I don't really know what to expect but I just know that there's gonna be a lot of sick cars there. Try to film some of that for you guys and then after I'm supposed to be linking with my buddy Gio. He just got a 335i N54 and he's saying that it's pretty fast and he literally just got this car. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Maybe I'll get to take it out for a spin but let's get right into it. You guys might recognize this guy from some of the crazier videos on this channel. Definitely what that has to do with like highway runs and crazy fast N54s. Uh, he just got a new car and we're about to go ahead we're about to go ahead and get behind the wheel of this thing. Take it for a quick spin and we're gonna see how it does. The last one blew up though, just so you guys know. The last one it doesn't work. Yeah, it's it's gone. Crank up, bro. So here, of course, we have my awesome N235i. You guys know how much I like this car. It's really fun. It's an N55. It's on N54, so yeah, of course, it doesn't have the power potential that one of these has. But this is Geo's N54 335i, and it is an absolute riot. So he already took me for a quick spin in this thing, and he got this thing not even a week ago, you guys. Not even seven days ago, and in 48 hours, he basically made this thing full bolt-on with inlets, upgraded fuel pump, and now it's tuned on MHD with an E60 flash, pushing around 430 to 440 wheel horsepower. That's a rough estimate. You can see he also has these really, really sick drag slicks in the back for traction. I mean, this car already in 48 hours, guys, is absolutely insane. He also got this car for 3,200 bucks, 4,000 out the door after taxes and everything, which is dirt freaking cheap. It's a clean title. It has like 139,000 miles or 135,000 miles, something like that. And everything works on it, guys. AC, sound system, N54, no misfiring. It's an 07, very, very well built car. All right, Omar, try not to crash. <laughs> Bro, dude, this, this would literally destroy my car right now. Like my 235. Just slow down to a 40. And the transmission is pretty quick because you got it flash, right? Yeah. It sounds. <laughs> Bro, it sounds like a jet, dude. It literally sounds like a jet because the stock exhaust on this car really muffles the sound but he just has downpipes, intakes, and inlets, and all you hear is the turbo whoosh from the induction sound every time you get on the throttle. It's insane, dude. This guy. <laughs> you guys, Geo got this car for $4,000 out the door. Taxes, registration, all the fees, and this car has 135,000 miles on it. Clean title and all, like crazy. So what do you think, the fastest cheapest 335i on craigslist definitely bro this car is making probably an estimated 430 to 440 wheel and that's probably being just conservative and with the price that you got it for 
the fact that you converted every, <laughs> you got it to this power level in 48 hours is like just crazy that you can do that nowadays on a car. Like, I don't think there's any other car for this cheap that can provide this much performance. And like the AC works on this car, guys. The speaker, the sound system works no problem and it bumps. Thanks for letting me drive it, bro. Yeah, dude. It's just insane. To... Short shifting it too. It's scary because it's, it's there's so much power that this car has. Like you, you got to be careful. The car's on a tire right now, so it, it's hooking. Yeah. It has a oh the drag radials. Right? Yeah, it has a yeah. the proxy RS1s. It's a 285, uh, 650, 810. Okay. It's insane, 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 insane. It's so easy to get up to speed in this thing. It's just insane. Wow. So practically all the parts, it came off of my other 335i. Right. But uh. I practically went over 400 horsepower under 4K. If you think about it, because I already had the parts, but right. the car, well, I'll just figure mean, it out. Yeah, like, and we were talking about it earlier. This car. And it, was, it, it hasn't misfired either. No, so. no misfire. No uh, shaking. No, no shaking, no hiccups from the engine. It starts up fine, even on E85. To achieve this kind of power on an N55, you'd really have to, most likely, you'd have to get a pure turbo to get anything higher than like 440 wheel on an N55, and this is Gio with just some basic bolt-ons that he put on in 48 hours. So that's what, for those of you that are kind of new to this platform, that's what a lot of the guys are talking about when they say, oh, N54 is king, because it just, as far as like input per dollar, you can input a lot less into this car, and the output is much higher. So, you know, for just like, honestly, maybe 1500 bucks of parts, if that, and you can get a lot of this stuff used for really cheap you can get you can exceed an n55 power potential really really easily obviously the drawback is reliability but geo kind of did everything on this car all the gaskets um just the common stuff he has injectors laying around for when those go out so pretty crazy how you can get this much power geo's car is insane you guys saw how freaking fast that thing is and i still can't even get my head around the fact that he did all that in 48 hours it just shows how easy it is to just make stupid amounts of power on an N54 or really any turbo BMW. You can just make them so quick nowadays. It's crazy how fast cars are getting. But anyway, if you guys want to see more content on that car or N54 stuff, uh, let me know in the comment section down below because uh, I'm always trying to improve content for you guys and make sure that you guys are enjoying the videos. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe down below to the channel. We're almost at 30k, so thank you so much for that, you guys. Really appreciate the support as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.